Those against? Washington will once and for all remove itself from the list of peace-loving and respected states, having um, fully uh, shared responsibility with its Israeli allies for the deaths of tens of thousands of Palestinian civilians. And that is not worthy of a great power, and history will not forgive you for that. I shall now put the draft resolution to the vote. Will those in favor of the draft resolution contained in document S-2024 Slash 312, please raise their hand. Okay, we've been recorded twice, right? Okay. Those against? Thank you. Abstentions? The draft resolution has not been adopted owing to, oh, I'm sorry, the result of the vote is as follows. 12 votes in favor, one vote against, two abstentions. The draft resolution has not been adopted owing to the negative vote of a permanent member of the council. I now give the floor to those members of the council who wish to make statements after the vote. I pass the floor to the representative of the Russian Federation. <coughs> Madam President, Madam President, Madam President, this day may go down in history as a day when, after three quarters of a century, the international uh, community at last made the right choice on the path towards correcting the many years of historical injustice done to Palestine and the legitimate aspirations of its heroic people. Because it was a simple question, are the Palestinians worthy of being part of the global family, fully participating in all of the decisions of international life? and a question that we have constantly answered with consent. And when Israel was welcomed into the UN, and when dozens of states also released from the colonial yoke were welcomed into the UN. However, our American colleagues believe differently. Having for the fifth time since the beginning of the uh, exacerbation in Gaza their veto, they have once again demonstrated what they really think of the Palestinians. For Washington, they do not deserve to have their own state. They are only a barrier on the path towards realizing the interests of Israel. For that reason, the United States is ready to the last to turn a blind eye to the crimes of Israel against the civilians in Gaza, not noting the uh, illegal settlement building activity in West Jerusalem on the West Bank. The aim is to break the Palestinians' will to force them once and for all to submit to the occupying power, to turn them into a servants and second-class persons, and perhaps to once and for all force them out of their native territory. That policy is only having the opposite impact. At present, an absolute majority of the global community supports Palestine's application to become a full member of the World Organization. The suffering of Palestinian civilians is resounding in the hearts and minds of millions of people around the world. In countries that supply weapons to West Jerusalem, Jerusalem there are louder and louder voices calling, voices calling for those supplies to be banned. Today's use of the veto by the U.S. delegation is a hopeless attempt to um, stop the inevitable course of history. The results of the vote where Washington was practically in complete isolation speak for themselves. With the most, uh, uh, playing into the hands of the most irrational actions by their ally and reluctant to find just solutions on the basis of the existing international legal basis, is a direct path to the further sliding into the mire of war which could encompass the entire region. If the United States and Israel uh, benefit from this, then it will only be in the short term. 
At the same time, Washington will once and for all remove itself from the list of peace-loving and respected states, having um, fully uh, shared responsibility with its Israeli allies for the deaths of tens of thousands of Palestinian civilians. And that is not worthy of a great power, and history will not forgive you for that. We call on the United States to listen to the voice of reason, to think about the consequences of their decisions, and to immediately join in the efforts of the other members of the Security Council to establish an immediate ceasefire in Gaza. Thank you.